So we move on to the finals, and the first up is race 33. It's the Paul Moore's Handicap Final. It's the shorter version of the three miles and five furlongs. It's a grade three handicap. Number one is Knickerbocker Glory for Joshua Southern. Alpi Cap for Darren Thompson is two. Marista and Sharmadel Phantom are three and four for Thomas Rogers. Watching carefully, Pontypool Racing is five. Heart Places Craig Allen is six. Pleen Lukey for Martin Leadham is seven. Amelia Farley for Pontypool Racing is eight. Hardy a call for James Shea is nine. Bayswater Marshall David Robinson is ten. Fuerte Del Rey for Darren Thompson is eleven. Isabel Reform for David Robinson is twelve. And what for Danny for Alex Cherry makes up thirteen. The challenge for the first of the Paul, Mar Paul Moore's finals. Good luck. Starter's got him away. As we settle down here at Inktree. Our last races of the season. And we'll go over the first. Slow jump at the rear by Marista. And takes it over towards the rail now. And certainly won't be going wide as we go left handed shortly. Turn. These were over the Grand National Fences, but uh, they all take that well. As we get back to the race, all the reluctant readers, you can throw a blanket over the lot of them here. There's probably only four lengths between first and last as they get to the third. We'll get over that as well. Amelia Farley at the rear didn't land particularly well, pecked a little bit. Still got his jockey on board. It's Alpicant that's going to lead them into the fourth. So it takes it well. Oh, a couple of poorer jumps again there. The grey towards the rear Bayswater Marsh. And the other grey, I think, is Hardy Accord. Both didn't want to get over that particularly well as we come down to the fifth. Oh, we've lost one there. Fuerte Del Rey's gone for Darren Thompson. Unlucky. But he's got the leader in Alpicat. So it is Alpicat from watching carefully and Knickerbocker Glory. Followed through by Macfredini. We go over the six. Poor jump there by Knickerbocker Glory. I think he takes a hold. So it's still Alpi Cat. We've still got three miles to go. We've still got another 18 fences to negotiate. Uh, plenty of racing to be had. We just lost the one. Should be a grey loose horse mid pack. Running alongside the orange silks of plain Lucky and Isabel Reform. But it's Alpi Cat that leads us. We'll come up to the grandstand shortly. I'm watching carefully and Knickerbocker Glory. Not for a dainty. More of horses just being led by heart paces. But all still fairly close order, and there's still plenty of racing to be had here. But it's Alpi Cat that leads us. Over the seventh. Takes it well. So there's a rest. It's Alpi Cat from watching carefully. Nickelbog Glory and Mock for a Dainey. One, two, three, four, and they're a couple of lengths away from the rest of the chasing pack, being led by the loose horse, Fuerte Del Rey. Two and a half miles still to go. We'll go past the winning post now. A third of the fence is taken. There will be one more here before we see the winning post. Here it is. The leaders are over it, as is the rest. Well, they're all very slow over it, all being very shy in front of the front of the crowd. Well, there's two in the straight. It's the water, of course, and they're all over that. So it's Alpicat to lead them out again. Mockford Damien in second now, watching carefully Nickelbocker Glory playing Lukey. Marista, Amelia Farley out wide, and Hart paces. Two Dave Robinson horses of Bayswater Marsh and Isabel Reform. Back of the screen, Sharmadel Phantom. And Hardy are called the grey just at the rear, just being hurried along for a couple of strides. So as we come down for two miles to go. So Alpicat has extended his lead now. As Mockford, Daney and Knickerbocker have already joined the chasing pack. So it's Alpicat by about four or five. Leads him into the eleventh. Takes it well. This does the rest. And it's still Alpicat. Mockford, Daney, Knickerbocker, Glory and Marista. We get to the twelfth. Half the fence is done. We have another twelve to jump. And about a mile and. Uh, one and a half miles still to run. And we've only lost the one, which was Fuerte del Rey. We'll take the 13th. Not unlucky for anybody. But Alpicat's still got a 10 length lead here. I'm quite happy to let him bowl along in front. To the 14th, takes it well, steadies himself. Does the rest of them all jump in really well here? As 
We've noticed that they're all full, or they don't fall. I can say I'll be counting the still leads us from Risto is moving to second now. Wider media Farley. Wider still is Isabel Reform. Base Water Marsh. Pretty Dane towards the fence along with watching carefully. And plain Luke in Charmadown Phantom. And just the two at the real heart paces and hardy accord as they get to the 16th. The big, big, I think it's a chair. And all got over it. And it is LP Cap. Although he's leads down to about five now, as Isabel Reformer, Amelia Farley, and Bayswater Marsh. Oh, and the leader's first time mistake. Made a mistake there, he's lost all his momentum. His lead's down just to a couple now. So LP Cap getting a little bit tired up front. Isabel Reform and Amelia Farley within a couple of lengths now. Basewood and Marsh, Nickelbocker Glory, Watford Daney, watching carefully and playing Lukey. And they go to the canal turn again, the 18th. So they'll have six to jump. He's Alpicat joined by Isabel Reform now. Stable mate of Bayswood and Marsh moves into third. On the outside is still Amelia Farley as they come to the 19th. The leaders are all over it. This is the rest. There's still only probably. Seven, eight lengths between first and last, and anything could still win this, including Marista, who's just at the rear at the moment. So it's says Isabel Reform that's going to lead us into the 20th. So with four to take, it's Isabel Reform from Alpicat, who's just having a little bit of a rest, watching carefully on the outside. Nickelbocker Glory's moved up again. And then we've got Bayswater, Marsh, Amelia Farley, Mopfred Dane is out wide. Wider still is, I think, plain Lukey as they all go over the 21st. So we're just three to jump. It's watching carefully. Nickelbocker Glory, Isabel Reform, Alpicat's still there, and then we we'll follow through by Amelia Farley and Bayswater Marsh they get to the 22nd they're all over it and it's watching carefully that leads for Pontypool Racing with Isabel Riffin just on his inside they're a length away from the rest they're all starting to move off the bridle now one that hasn't made a move yet is Bayswater Marsh but it's Isabel Riffin and watching carefully these two lead just by a length from Nickelbock Glory Alpi Cat Sharmadal Phantom making a move now the three pack on the inside is Hardy a call but it's watching carefully just by a length now as we come down to the final half mile as they approach the penultimate fence it's Isabel Riffin and watching carefully, these two are one and two, trying to get some room. Is Hardy a called to make a challenge? But watching carefully, and Isabel Reform starting to pull away from the rest again. It's Hardy a call makes a challenge, but heart pace is a bit wider. But it's Isabel Reform just by a length now approaching the penultimate gets over it well. Better jump by watching carefully, they're all over it. But it's Isabel Reform and watching carefully, these two are neck and neck from heart pace. It's Hardy a called running on Marista, but it's still Isabel Reform as we come down to the final quarter mile and the last fence. Isabel Reform from watching carefully. Carefully, they get to the last, they're over it together, but it's Isabel Reform has still got a length advantage from watching carefully. We're inside the final furlong and a half. It's a race on the flat now. Isabel Reform, we come to the elbow and it's watching carefully that noses up now. It's watching carefully that takes on Isabel Reform. The watching carefully leads by a length from Isabel Reform. Hardy of Gault in third, but not going to catch him. It's watching carefully inside the final half. Watching carefully, pulling away from Isabel Reform here. It's going to be another win for Graham Clatterbuck and Pontypool Racing takes the first of the Pauls and Moors. Handicap follow the Three mile fur right fur lungs. Well, I think Isabel Reform hung on for second. So a good win there for Great Clutterbuck. Well done. Wins it by a couple of lengths in the end from Isabel Reform in second. Hardy O'Call cool, good up for third. I blocked in earlier in the race. I think Marista ran on for fourth. And playing Lukey might have been up for fifth. Alpi Cat was six. We'll just wait for the final card to come up. I'll be handing it over to Marty for the second of the Paul Moore's handicaps, which is the long distance final. I wish you all luck in that one, but it is a win on this turn. But watching carefully for Pontypool Racing, well done. Isabel for Rome for David Robertson, hung on for second. Hardy a call for James Shea was third. Marista for Thomas Rogers was fourth. And plain lucky for Martin Leadham got up for fifth.